What was that? Shit, they're loose! Yes, I'm out of here. Let me live, please! That asshole killed him! Eat that, you asswipe! You go first. I'll cover you. Where the fuck is that you go? Hey, guys! Barbara's escaping! Vito, come here! There should be no way out! Get your ass over here, Vito!
It's over here, Vito. Vito, they fucked me up pretty good. I think I need a doctor. Okay, let's get you over to El Greco. Get out of there! Uh, my chest! Every time I breathe! I think they broke my damn ribs. Take it easy. El Greco's gonna fix you up. Yeah. <coughs> sure. <coughs> oh, fuck. Every time I cough, it feels like I'm being stabbed in the chest. Just sit back. The more you whine about it, the worse it's gonna be. So listen, Vito. Thanks for coming after me and almost getting yourself killed. Hey, we're in this together, right? Just like always. Now just sit the fuck back before you get blood all over my pants and I really do stab you in the chest. <coughs> oh, you picked a hell of a time to turn into a fucking comedian. I can make it. What do you want me to do with the money? Take it to Bruno. All right. At least that'll be out of the way. Uh. Good evening, gentlemen. Oh, what happened to you? Hey, Doc. I got my ass kicked. At... <coughs> I'm coughing up what blood. What is happening today? One of your uh. guys is already here. Uh. Who? His name is Antonio Balsamo. Tony Balls? What happened to him? Somebody messed him up pretty good. Uh, I don't think uh, he's ever going to uh, walk again. What? <laughs> this surprises you? All the blood. Uh, all the death. Uh, this is the lifestyle you choose. Uh, uh, One day your luck is bound to run out. Uh, the next time, it could uh, be you. And off with the sermon, Doc. You have time to treat Joe? Yes. But you'll have to wait a minute while I fix Antonio up. That's okay, Doc. All right. Come in. Make sure you settle things with Bruno, okay? And Vito. Thanks. Sure thing. Feel better. on EDLT Delta Radio. It's your old disc jockey slash news commentator slamming Sammy Stevens bringing you news from Midtown. Construction site carnage. That's what the papers might call it tomorrow. Witnesses have reported the sound of automatic weapons coming from the building and at least one body falling from a high-rise scaffold to the sidewalk below. Police arrived as a car was leaving the site and they are still in pursuit of that vehicle. It's safe to say that if you see some flashing lights coming from behind you, pull over and duck, baby. For EDLT Radio, I'm slamming Sammy Stevens.
Suspect is about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Copy that. I gotta shake the cops. I can't go there with cops on my tail. I need to calm down the situation. Payment as usual. Alright, alright, you got it. Have somebody drop the cash off later. Jockey slash news commentator slamming Sammy Stevens bringing you news from Midtown. Construction site carnage. Well, that's what the papers might call it tomorrow. Witnesses have reported the sound of automatic weapons coming from the building and at least one body falling from a high-rise scaffold to the sidewalk below. Police arrived as a car was leaving the site and they are still in pursuit of that vehicle. It's safe to say that if you see some flashing lights coming from behind you, pull over and duck, baby. For EVLT Radio, I'm slamming Sammy Stevens. Suspect is about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Ten four.
Hey, I need to see Bruno. Got the money? Yeah. Come on in then. You're lucky. We were just about to leave. Good evening. You have the money for me? Or do you wish to extend the deadline? Here it is. <laughs> I have to admit, this is somewhat of a surprise. I heard you boys had some... complications. Yeah, we did. I heard that Henry is dead. I'm very sorry to hear that. Isaac, count it. So your little business venture was a success? You got your money, right? Right, right. It's just that the whole city has been turned upside down. The Chinese think the Italians attacked them, so they're going after Vinci. That's not good. Not good. Would that have anything to do with the reason you borrowed this money? Sorry, Bruno. That's none of your business. Ah, uh, thank you, Isaac. It looks like the debt is settled. I don't even know your name. Vito. Vito who? Vito Scaletta. Eh, Scaletta. I knew a Scaletta once. But I must say, you're much better at paying back your debts than he was. His poor wife had to do it for him. So it was you who lent my father the money. <laughs> your father. Ah, like father, like son. I see you don't approve. But I didn't make him borrow the money, now did I? Just like I didn't make you. If you ever need a loan, you know where to find me. <laughs> sure. I couldn't sleep. Things were bad. And they were only gonna get worse. The truth was gonna come out sooner or later. And then we were gonna have Falcone after us along with the Chinese and Vinci. This wasn't how I imagined it when we were starting out. I dreamed of money, cars, women, respect, freedom. I guess I ended up getting all that, more or less. But along with it came prison, living in constant fear, and the blood of my friends. I ducked it as long as I could, but it was finally catching up with me. It was all just a matter of time. Yeah, hello. Vito. Yeah, it's Eddie. Uh, listen, I need you to... Let me guess. You need me to come by right away, and I should bring a gun. For once, I don't. <laughs> yeah, Carla wants to see you over at the planetarium. Did he say what it was about? Nope. Uh, better head over there now, though. Uh, don't want to keep the man waiting. <laughs> yeah, see you, Vito.
Mr. Scaletta, can you get in, please? Hey, old man, what are you doing back? Just get in the damn car. Now. And you are? This is our friend, Mr. Chu. All right, so what the hell's going on? What is this? This is about you. You fucked up good, didn't you? Started a fucking war. Got no idea what you're talking about. Don't fuck with me, boy. I've probably forgotten more about this business than you'll ever learn. Half our guys are dead. Half of Mr. Chu's guys are dead. And now the feds are breathing down everybody's necks. Because of you. Leo, listen. You listen. If it wasn't for me, you would have already been taken care of. So you're gonna listen to what I have to say, and you're gonna listen good. What you did in Chinatown, that was because of that cocksucker Henry, right? You know who he was working for when he died? You mean when he was butchered? He was working for the feds. He was a fucking rat. And that's why Mr. Chu's people did what they did. And that's why the feds are going after Carlo now. But I don't forget my friends, Peter. You did for me, so I did for you. You called in a few favors. Got you one chance to make this right. Okay, I'm listening. You're gonna get rid of Carlo. It was all a favor. And if I refuse? You die. Frank and the rest of the commission want you dead. So does Mr. Chu. And to top it all off, you vouched for a rat. You think Carlo's gonna let that slide? You're a dead man walking. <sighs> When? Now. Every minute we wait is another minute we give to the feds. He's holed up at that observatory of his. You know something's up. Carlo Falcone is a lot of things, but stupid ain't one of them. All right. Stop the car. Remember, kid, this is your last chance. <laughs>